And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast, sponsored by Generator Supercenter of Amarillo. Well, good Friday morning, everyone getting ready to kick off the weekend. Well, it looks like we're doing so on a pretty sunny note as satellite and radar is quiet this morning. Had a few more of those isolated storms yesterday, but today I think we kick those out of the forecast and we leave just the sunshine behind. Let's take a look at that with our next weather maker. We're expecting a pretty toasty weekend here in the forecast and today going to be pretty hot out there. We were hot yesterday. We got up to 100 here in Amarillo. I think we're going to do the same again. Looking at your satellite and radar, your upper level setup. So generally what we're seeing right now is kind of what we call a north northeasterly flow over Amarillo. So basically not getting any flow off the mountains of New Mexico. Therefore, we're not seeing enough lift to fire up any showers and thunderstorms. There is a low kind of up around the Great Lakes region, ultimately not playing that big of a role in our forecast here as of right now. So with that being said, let's look at your temperature forecast. We're going to be in the upper 70s by 9 a.m. More of the same of what we have been seeing, but we're just going to continue to kind of add to those temperatures ever so slightly. 92 by the lunchtime hour today. You're going to see some mid 90s already. Like I said, daytime highs peaking at or over that triple digit mark for most of the region. You will notice the west southwestern parts of the area where there's still a little bit more moisture. We'll be seeing mid 90s. We're going to see triple digits here in Amarillo, places like Borger, possibly around 102. So far, not seeing heat advisory criteria in any parts of the region just yet, which of course heat advisory is right around 105. So good news is it's not going to be out of control hot, but easily some of the hottest temperatures we've seen all week, dropping down around the 80s by this evening and tonight. Now let's talk about your winds. Stop me if you've heard this one before, but we're starting them out today out of the southwest. Good 10 to 15 miles an hour, maybe 10 to 20 at times. They're going to turn more southerly as we go into this afternoon, and then by this evening they turn out of the southeast. Very familiar territory here, not really breaking any new ground in that part of the forecast. So if you are planning on spending any time outside, of course, taking the kiddos to the pool, going to the lake this weekend, of course, I want you to be uh, keeping in mind the UV index, which today at its peak during those peak day daytime hours should be right around a 10, which of course makes you more susceptible to sunburns and of course heat exhaustion if you spend too much time outside. So of course, Find shade, use the sunscreen, find ways to keep yourself cool, but we're not looking at extremely dangerous levels of heat, but of course, we want to keep you and your family safe. Looking at your seven-day supercast, lots of sunshine here for the time being. Highs in the high 90s, if not triple digits for the entire region. You'll see 96 by next Tuesday is the quote-unquote coolest, at least over that stretch. But then a cold front does look to come through next Wednesday, may drop those highs down into the 80s, may bring some better rain chances back into the forecast. So like I said, not all bad news here in the forecast. Your six to 10-day precip out, this is July 17th through the 21st, next Wednesday through the following Sunday. You'll notice right there, those greens are getting just a little bit darker. That's some good news. That means there could be some better rain chances in the forecast. We'll continue to monitor things here at News Channel 10. In the meantime, enjoy your weekend.